comes to me. Is he beginning not to believe? Did you just answer him? Ow. It's just an owl. It's a cat. All of this tomorrow. Well, you just scored some points with Bjorn, probably. I think he that they killed him, even though Ragnar's wife did. He tried to rape her. Ragnar Lothbrok, my friend. How was your voyage? Successful, I hope, for all our sakes. The Saxons attacked us when we returned to the. He died fighting. Knut is dead. Dead. Come on, four other people died. Did he die in battle? Yeah. No. Yeah, he did. Battle against her. <laughs> then how did he die? I find it too convenient. That you would make an excuse to kill my friend and my agent on your voyage. You should have said he died in battle. What did you think that you would gain by getting rid of him? Didn't expect to gain anything. I don't believe you. This dude. Arrest you. Oh shit. My lord. Yes, I want to talk to you. Please sit, drink. It's, um, <clears throat> it's a delicate matter. You, you are the brother of Ragnar Lothbrok, are you not? I am. A spirited man. Rollo Lothbrok. Be the hero. Is that what it comes down to? To him? Would he have achieved what he has achieved? If it wasn't for you. Yeah, y'all. What do you say, Rollo? I don't know if he had the crew then. Your ambition. You want to stand out. You want to be someone, Rollo. You want the gods to notice you. Yes? They would have noticed me already. Oh no, my friend. And do you know why? Because you still walk in the shadow of Ragnar Lothbrok. Don't you think it's time you stepped out from it? I don't like any of them. God see you for who you really are? It's even worse if they work together. Be my son-in-law. You'll hold a high and special place. As if you were my own son. This turned... Yay, say hello to Rolo. So quickly. Hello. Don't forget about me, my life. Oh, yes. And this is C, my wife. This is Rolo. He is the brother of Ragnar Lothbrok. Lothbrok. Where's Ragnar? Oh, they showed up. Some of you may know that the bastard son of my father. Really? And I loved him like a brother. Yeah. I asked Knut to, to go with Ragnar Lothbrok to England, where they raided the town and brought back many spoils. And while they were raiding this town, Ragnar Lothbrok took it upon himself to cold-bloodedly kill my brother. He would have if he had figured it out. It's easy. When you stand before us and know that you must tell the truth. It is true that I killed Knut. Sadly. No brother. But I killed him when I found him trying to rape my wife. If I had have known at the time he was your brother, I would have carried out the same sentence. Do you seriously ask us to believe your story? Oh, God damn it. I can confirm the story. 
You are the wife of Ragnar Lothbrok? I am, Lord. How extraordinary that you happen to be there at the same time. Uh, look at you. How could you? He killed my brother. Ragnar Lothbrok she could. killed and my brother. And she did. We have proof. We have a witness to the killing. Don't tell me it's the boy. Rallo? I just lost mother. everything. It's like minus... No. Ragnar Lothbrok killed him. In cold blood? No, Lord. For a good reason. Oh. What Ragnar Lothbrok has sworn is true. Your half brother was caught raping a Saxon woman, then he attempted Still to Still didn't rape kill him. Wife. Did he plan that? No. You know, he thought he could trust him, he couldn't. Rollo outsmarted him there. I know. I need to look forward to collecting it. I wrote down Rollo, bitch. I regret it. To Ragnar. To his future and his freedom. No, no, no. To friends. And freedom. To friends and freedom. Not to you, my friend. We'll never be free of us. <laughs> This is awesome. I hope the gods are watching. I didn't do it for him. I did it for you. Shield maiden. Oh, right, it's back. Are they killing him? They freaking killed the tall guy I joined. They didn't know they were holding a party, a feasting, I don't know. <coughs> One strike. I don't trust the seer anymore. Do you read? Wait. Not so impatient, Lord. Tell me. Ask me a question. Are, are, are the signs threatening? Yes. There is a quarrel. Does he desire to be Earl? If he kills you, would it not be so? How many men does this guy have? The gods speak. Do they ever stop? Gods have always been favorable to me. They allowed your sons to die. What's he doing? I know what he's doing. He's preparing himself. Hmm. -mm. But what? I want to know the fights. This is probably gonna be kind of like a long review, but I'm I'm trying to get a lot of the details and stuff. Um, they had a prisoner in the beginning. It's kind of a, a nice move, even though they killed him. There was just no mercy there. Uh, I enjoyed the huge fight they had. You know, this showed how how much of a strategy they still had. You know, at the time they weren't just barbarians. I mean. They pillaged and plundered, but they still had strategy when they were fighting. That's awesome, you know. Um, they were like outnumbered so much. They had like half the men, or even maybe a third of the men, and they still freaking won. I, I'm a bit annoyed at the fact that these three guys got away, but they prepared themselves with horses and they they still killed two of these guys. Um, that were guarding the boat. Knut died. I enjoyed that. From trying to rape this Saxon woman and then. Uh, uh, Legatha, I finally got her name, I just didn't know her name before now. Um, some of them got some kind of like hard names, but I'm trying to keep up with it. Um, I enjoy that 
um, Ragnar's getting information from this Christian that know about the country. Um, he also got that in the last episode where he was talking to the Jarl about where to go and stuff because he heard it from the Christian guy, Uffelstan. And he, he uh, knew that Sunday was the rest day so they could attack there. Nobody, nobody would, uh, or not the rest day, everybody was in church, but it's also the rest day so they could attack there. It was really nicely made. Um, we got... Uh, you know they they went in and plundered everything. I enjoyed that because there, it was much more of a fight. They didn't kill any of the people that did, was wasn't resisting, uh, or they didn't kill any of the people. Like you know they, they killed Knut killed this guy he tried to rape, but Rollo was kind of not nice before he emptied these uh, cups and stuff. Took the the gold that were they were made of or whatever it was made of. He gave him some water. That was kind of nice. Um, we saw, yeah, Knut killing, as I said. Uh, I thought this boy that was with the mother who um, was kind of like being raped saw everything. And also when they had had said, uh, this y'all said they had a witness, I thought someone brought him back or something, take him as the witness, but it was Rollo that witnessed, but he was with this, his brother. I enjoyed that, you know, he, he outsmarted the y'all so much. And, um, yeah, he... he um, we heard something about Athelstan's past. He had four brothers, one sister, and a mother and a father. They all died from fever. That's like crazy, you know. That's f seven persons in out of eight in their family. They were sent to this place where all the monks were. Um, but yeah, the, the Vikings lost five guys, pretty much. Two got in the boat, two in the fight, and then Knut that was killed by Legatha. I enjoyed that she killed him. She, she's such a good warrior. I also enjoyed that Yal just couldn't believe that she killed it, him. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed that very much. And the language isn't this like, is it like, you know, we, we, we obviously hear English all the time. We hear English whenever the, Vi the Vikings are speaking, but they're probably not talking English. And then we hear Vi uh, English whenever, uh, uh, what's his name, Ali Ayla, uh, the king of Northumbria is talking. We also hear English then. But they said they couldn't understand the Vikings, um, so they're probably talking different languages. We are only hearing English. That's probably also when, uh, why you know, whenever the English people and the Vikings are together, we hear um, another language from the Vikings and their subtitle under. So I enjoy that. Uh, they they don't really tell you. Um, I don't understand your language, or at least I don't know if they did that in the last couple of episodes. But you know, it's pretty fun to to pick up on a couple of these things. Um, Athelstan were with uh, Bjorn and Jira, and you know, he, they're getting more together now. I feel as if Bjorn really hated him in the beginning, but he started to like him a bit more, I think, even after he said they'd go to Kattegat. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is that right? Because that's just, you know, it sounds like, you know, a bit English with Danish because the city is, um, I'm, I'm used to pronounce it in Danish, at least, uh, Kattegat or whatever they're saying. Um, and we had Athelstan praying. I feel as if he's trying, you know, he, he obviously still believes in Christianity and he believes in the one God, uh, God, but he still was like questioning the God here whenever he couldn't see any light. Um, and he also drank, was, were drinking ale, I think, in the end uh, with Ragnar. So he's tr slowly moving away from that and more becoming like, not a Viking, but not that religious person. I don't know. He feels that everything, everything was taken from him. Um, and then they came back. I really didn't enjoy that they, you know, took him prisoner right now. And I didn't enjoy at all that, you know, they didn't resist more. They could have, I don't know if they could have taken out the people um, that they all had. Because, all the, you know, the commoners, all the, all the people living there, seems to be with him. Um, or obviously not Ragnar and his crew. But, um, yeah, I didn't enjoy that. Um, they, they tried to persuade Rollo to go with them because it's as if it's every time he lose someone he gotta find someone new he lost this one guy that he set up t with his wife Siggy and then he killed him after that when he killed me he got this other guy who was um, who was that yeah Knut wasn't he? yeah just Knut and then he killed him he tried to get Rollo or he didn't kill him like I said did but um, I got the name of the y'all wife. Um, I didn't know that before. She's named Siggy. We saw someone called Ther Terry. Terry. 
uh, the Yal starter, and he had a pretty good offer to Rollo, because uh, he's a bit sneaky. I don't really like him still, because he's like this, not that nice guy, but I enjoyed that he helped in the end. Uh, I, I wrote down Rollo bitch. I still think he's kind of like an annoying character. He's just plundering, killing everything. I mean, he is a true is a, a Viking, but Ragnar is doing it with more like. He's trying to be, you know, fair and stuff. Um, so I enjoyed that a bit more, and um, I liked the plot that uh, Knut was the Yal's bastard brother. Cause I don't think we've heard that at all. It was kind of like a twist. Everyone was kind of like, "Oh, is that real?" Um, I, I'm actually questioning it myself now, cause you know, it could be just be a thing he said to convince them that this is terrible. He should be killed. Um, then, of course, as I just said, Rollo came in to help. And he said he did it for Ligatha, and not for Ragnar. I can see that because ever since the first episode where I tried to do this thing, I'm really been trusting him, and you know he seems as if he likes the same person as his, as his brother. But he got this woman. He she can't. He gotta just go and take it. Um, I like Floki. He's kind of like the relieving character. It's kind of funny, you know, how how he's doing things and stuff. Um, he's also a weirdo, but I enjoy him at the moment. Um, the tall guy died. I really enjoyed him. Uh, we, we didn't really hear a lot of from him, but he, he died. Um, we saw him fight. He was a pretty good fighter. And we saw his woman being really sad about it. it was these three men came in and tried to kill him. They did just think that, you know, it was probably his house or something. Then these guys came in trying to kill his family, but there was just a whole bunch of people because they were kind of like surprised. Um, so yeah, that was a stupid plan from this little bold guy. I don't know if he did it or anything. And I don't trust the seer at all, the blind guy that, you know, speaks to the guards or listens to the guards. I don't trust him at all because he's always with the uh, Yal. But maybe that's just a part of his job being with the Yal. Um, and I got a question, oh, not a question, just like, uh, I, was, I don't know, you know, just a question to ask myself how many men does the Yal have? Not that you have to answer it. Because, like, Ragnar's men, I think they could take him out because it, it only looks like 10 men at maximum. Maybe he got some more stuck. But as I said, the, the common people looks as if they're with him, so it might be a problem. And Ragnar's preparing himself for something now. Um, for what? I don't know. Maybe something's gonna happen in the next episode, some war, and you know, them trying to take over the Yarl. I'd enjoy that because um, I don't like him at all. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and review. I'm trying to do the review, so I'm just I'm not just talking as a recap, but I'm trying to go through the episode, saying what I thought about these things. Um, so yeah, like if you want more of the Vi not the Vikings, I'm always saying the Vikings. Like if you want more Vikings content, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.